name is Jim Staples from CreativeMatrimony.com. Today we're going to try uh, to alter this piece of glass that we bought from Home Depot uh, for a project that we're doing. Uh, it came in a, a pre-cut size of 18 by 36 and we want to reduce it to 18 by 30. Uh, so what we've done is we went and purchased a glass cutting kit. So we're going to attempt to cut the glass. I've never done this before so we'll see how easy it is. So the first step, of course, is to measure off uh, the piece of glass. So we're going to go ahead and measure uh, for 30 inches. Now in the kit, it comes with a glass marker. Um, nice thing about this marker is it wipes off very easily. Um, if you don't have a uh, glass pen or a marker, you could probably get by with using a uh, black crayon. So we've got our marks. We'll take a straight edge. So now that we have our piece of glass measured off with our uh, line, I went ahead and got a piece of scrap wood to use as a straight edge. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take the glass cutting tool and uh, go along that as a guide. So the first step is to uh, dip the cutting wheel into uh, the oil. And then what you want to do is come and come probably about an eighth of an inch away from the edge on the far side of the glass in the way that you're cutting. So I'm going to cut toward me and you really get one pass at this. So you want to push hard enough to make a fine line on the glass, but you don't want to push too hard or it could cause the glass to flake. So we're going to come over and you can kind of hear the glass kind of making a little crackling noise. You're going to want to go all the way off to the edge. Okay. So once we have the uh, score on our glass, uh, the cut line, you take the other end of the cutting tool and you want to just kind of tap along the line that you just cut. And then bring the glass to the edge of your tabletop or workbench. Hold it down firm and then with your other hand and be careful so that the glass was to fall, you don't want it to nick your leg or foot. You're just going to apply pressure down and then you should have a clean break. So that's the first time that I've ever, ever attempted to cut glass. Obviously it must be pretty easy. Uh, we didn't break the uh, piece of glass. So we got a pretty clean cut, uh, there's really no splinters, um, so now we're ready to move forward with our project. Again, this is Jim Staples from CreativeMatrimony.com. We invite you to visit our site and check out some of our other wood and textile projects.